In this video, I'm going to teach you how to crochet your own friendship bracelets. These bracelets are really trending right now, and they're perfect gifts for friends, wears to concerts, or even to sell at a handmade market. If you don't know me, I'm Zara. I'm a knitwear and crochet designer behind Lily Pearl Design, and I strive to create modern, sustainable patterns to help every woman feel beautiful. This video is an in-depth tutorial on how to create and crochet these friendship bracelets. So let's get started. For this tutorial, you will need a crochet hook, some four ply yarn, beads, and a sewing needle. To start, we need to put all of the beads on the working yarn so that they can be threaded into the bracelet later on. So thread your needle, and then slide the beads on. You want to make sure that you do this in the order that they appear so that when they slide on they will make sense as a bracelet. Once you finish that just remove the sewing needle. Now we need to decide how many to chain. I have nine letters in my bracelet so I'm going to chain 18 and have one chain in between each letter. Make sure the beads are on the other side of the chain, not the end, on the side closest to the yarn where you were pulling it from. Once you've chained your desired amount, chain one more and then complete a row of slip stitches across. This will be the base layer of your bracelet. to be where we place our beads. So chain one and then slip stitch in the first stitch and pull your first bead up to the front. You're going to insert your hook into the next stitch and then put the yarn round hook but make sure the bead is in the middle like so. And do a normal slip stitch and you can see the letter is on the back of the work. Then I'm going to slip stitch into my next stitch as I'm having one in between. And repeat the same process with my next bead. Now that that row is completed, you can see that the beads are all on and you can read the web. For the last row, you're just going to do a slip stitch row to keep all of the beads in place and consolidate them. the main part of the bracelet with the words on it. Now we need to do the ties. To do so, slip stitch into the middle row and make a chain long enough to tie around your wrist so it needs to be longer than half your wrist. So here's my completed bracelet. I put little heart beads on the ends and just tied it up like so. 